G'day, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans. And today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're actually here at the Brisbane RNA Showground, setting up for the show that starts on the 6th of June. And we thought while we're here, we might as well do one of our videos. I've got this lovely 20 foot six Phoenix here in this magnificent color. This is pretty much Sandy Torp, or very similar color to the Sandy Torp um, that Toyota use. This is an aluminium frame van. That's how we've done the color, because as I've said in previous videos, we can't do the colors with the composite construction, but this one has got the aluminium welded internal frame. We still offer that as an option on our Blue Healer and Phoenix models. So if you do want to go with a pretty color, or you just actually want the aluminium frame, talk to Michael and myself, and, um, and we'll go through all the different options you've got with that as well. But let's have a look at this van. All right, first of all, we'll start off with the standard Phoenix box here. So this is the 2023 spec Phoenix. So we've got our big powder coated toolbox on the front here. If I open this up, you'll find we've got our two nine kilo gas bottles inside behind that cover there. We've got a generator slide and compartment there, storage compartment there. On the door side of the van, we have some more additional storage, which has actually got some dividers in there, which is perfect if you've got jerry cans and you want to put them in the toolbox. This customer has also requested for us, we lift the toolbox up and put our timber storage in there. So that's what we're looking there. We've got this nice timber tray there and we've lifted that by about 190 millimeters. A-frame's the same as our steel, uh, all our steel A-frame. So this is a hot dip galvanized A-frame, hot dip galvanized sub-assembly for the suspension, but your main rails are, a, are made from aluminum as per all our um, chassis. These come with a 20 year warranty as well. We're very, very confident in these chassis. They're light, they're strong, they're just fantastic in, in every way. We've got our 12 volt blackjack uh, jockey leg fitted. But in this case, I've used a jockey wheel. Why have I used the jockey wheel? Well, here at the show, we need to be able to move the vans around to get them onto the site. So it's much easier to move them on the jockey wheel than using the standing and having to lift the van. We've got a DO35 hitch on the front and our ratchet handbrake as per normal. And of course, we've got our DSC or um, Dexter Sway Control braking, emergency braking on this as well. The van is fitted with a 12 inch drum brakes. As we come down the side of the van, we'll have a look. So we've got our Coast 4 door. So this is the bigger of the two doors that we fit. In this case, we have got a huge through boot. There is some stuff in there for the show, so please ignore that. But we've also got our marine barbecue here. So this is our Sizzler marine barbecue. It swivels out, lift up the lid here. We've got a stainless steel hot plate. And then if you lift that hot plate up, there is a roasting rack underneath there too. Perfect for two people. It doesn't take up a lot of room in the through boot. They're nice and light. They're just a good barbecue overall. These guys have opted to have a 240 PowerPoint um, externally fitted up the front here. I guess this is going to be great if you're going to be using um, other cookware or other things out here, even a toaster if you don't want to cook toast inside the van, perfect out here. Because this has got a big power system, we've got an inverter, all power points in the van run off the inverter when you're free camping. Electric awning, haven't got this one all the way out because we've got another van in the way, but it is our normal electric awning. Double electric step, which is standard on all our models. No step well inside the van. People often ask me why we've done this. Well, basically with this step well being right next to the bed, it does become a bit of a trip hazard. So instead of having that, we've gone with a flat floor and that's why we've got two steps on the outside. It's not because the van's super high, it's because we don't have the step well inside. But being electric, they do fold up nice and neatly and tuck away. And we put a mud flap either side of those steps too. So when you go off road, you've got that extra stone protection. These guys have optioned the ATX auto airbag suspension. So the standard air suspension on a Phoenix these days is XT auto airbags. These guys have upgraded to the next one. Just so happens that the arms are painted pretty much the same color as the outside of the van. So it matches really, really well. Here's the controls for the, for the auto airbags in the same locations we always do behind this coast one door. So we've got our auto, uh, airline out, we've got our manual auto functions and you can manually adjust them from there. This works really, really well. I love the, having airbag suspension bands when we're here at the show because often the stands aren't flat and it does allow us to level them nice and easily. Up here we've got our external entertainment hatch. So we've got provision to lift your TV off the wall from inside and then put it straight outside. We've got our 240 power, our 12 volt power, our HDMI and aerial connections are all there. Plus a couple of external marine speakers as well. Just all works really well. Another external table, so that's two in, two in total. And we've also gone with an additional gas bayonet. Obviously there was one at the front for the barbecue up there, but we've also gone with another one down here. Sometimes people prefer to run another gas appliance down the back of the van. It just gives you options depending on where you're parked up. Gerard Instant Hot Water System. That's fitted in the, all our vans as well. Really, really good system. It heats water on demand. So as you turn the tap on, it heats the water and it goes through the pipes. We also fit a red water valve to save any of that cold water that you get initially when you first turn the tap on. Really, really efficient and they work extremely well. 
one of our signs for the show. Did I mention that we got the People's Choices Manufacturer Caravan of the Year award? Absolutely very, very proud of that award. We'll talk about that later in another video. At the back here, we've got our plumbing or our service plumbing hatch. So we've got that hot water system you know I was just talking about, the gas heater, two water pumps and a water filter, plus a red water valve and a changeover valve. So if you want to, you could run the shower off your drinking water if, you're, if you'd run out of your mains water. We'll give you instructions on how that works here on the inside of the door as well. We've got our nicely powder coated rear bumper, which is an aluminium bumper, also a pole carrier for, for additional storage with our progressive LED um, lights and a number plate with double lights for your number plate. These guys have option to have a second spare wheel bracket fitted. So the spare wheel is mounted underneath the van, um, like I've shown you in plenty of videos in the past. But this one here is for an additional spare wheel for the car. So we've put this plate on, put the studs in there. All they need to do is throw their wheel on there and away they go. Our battery hat hatch. So this is where all the, the power comes from. So we've got, I don't know if you can see the video, but we've actually got three banks there. So it's 100, three 150s, 450 amp hours of battery all together. We've got our brains here, which has got your charger and your solar regulators with two MPPT 50 amp controllers, four, 100, uh, four 200 watt solar panels on the roof, and our Victron 3000 inverter and char 240 charger. Let's have a look inside the van. Okay, so now we're inside the van. I'll show you some of the features in here. These guys have gone with the same color scheme as the outside, so these um, beiges or goldy colors. I really, really like this style like color. It's very reflecting, got a little bit of metallic finish on it as well. Of course, we've got our concealed handles on all our overhead cupboards, gas struts and cabinet maker hinges that can be fully adjusted if required. Leather throughout the van, so we do use genuine leather. We've got a leather headboard. In this case, we've got leather pockets and the CPAP um, provision, or additional storage, I guess. Um, we've got our 12 volt and 240 power inside the robes as well. So if you use a CPAP machine or you just want to charge your iPads or tablets in, perfectly. Um, capable of doing that inside your robe and it's out of the way. Plus we've got these long, big, long drawers underneath each of those robes as well. Now, this van comes, like all our vans, come, well most of our vans anyway, come with a full size queen mattress. So this one is a full household size queen mattress. It is in a spring with a pillow top. So it's got the full length and the full width. Dinette. Okay, so we're going with, the, these guys have got a, a different take on a conventional cafe dinette. So it is a cafe dinette, but we have cut down these two ends here. Now the reason we do that is to give you a little bit more room to get around the bed, a little bit more hip room to get around the bed. It does open up the van and make the van look much, much bigger too, as we can seem, sort of feel like we've got a bigger walkway, even though it's only this little area here taken away. You can still sit four people there if you wanted anyway, so you're not losing any seating. It's just that slight back, um, back piece that's gone. Table pod, so we've got our, our normal table pod here. We've got our 240 power. We've got our, we've got our water tank gauges. We've got an inverter and charger controls there. We've got our battery monitor at not, we're at 99.8% at this moment in time. We've got a USB, this is USB A. If you want USB C, talk to us because we can do that now too. And we've got 12 volt socket there as well. So all nice and handy there. If you want to use computers, laptops, and all those the tablets and all those sort of devices, all nice and neatly put there. These guys have gone with a few extra fans. So we've got this one on this wall here. We've got that one on the back of the, um, Cafe dinette there, and we've got one up high on the overhead cupboard. As we come through, we'll have a look at the kitchen. So we've gone with our Evo stone. I really like this color. It's a very, very popular color too. Um, it looks really nice, complements the cabinetry in this van. We've grooved the sink um, drain into, into that um, Evo stone as well. So we can still use this as a bench. You can see we've got our kettles and stuff there. Um, but if you do spill water or draining something there, it will run back into the sink, which is nice. Our filter tap and our mains tap. So I don't show this very often, but we've got basically two spouts here in, in one. So we've got our mains water and then we've got our filtered drink, drinking water there as well, which is really, really nice. When I say mains water, I mean your, your, um, your tank water, your 190 litre water tank. Right, overhead cupboards. So we've got our no, overhead cupboards again, gone with this really clean lines and, and our concealed um, latches. This corner up here will have our satellite stuff. So this has got, this Phoenix comes standard with an automatic satellite dish on the roof. So we've got a vast box and a satellite control box. Again, nice and neat. Doesn't take up too much space. You can have, um, store some additional stuff up there as well. 32 inch LED TV is standard in this model. Um, there's a range of different TVs available, but this one seems to be the most popular one at this moment in time. It is a smart TV as well, so you can access some of your um, Netflix type apps and stuff like that. 
we come up the end here, we've got our microwave. So the microwave, is it a really, really good height? I'm only short, I'm only five foot eight. This is really, really good height for me, or even someone a little bit shorter than me. That's what we've sort of built around this kitchen around. Um, so if you're pulling things out, you're not gonna be too far above your head. These microwaves don't have a revolving plate anymore, so they're fixed, um, fixed base, which is really, really nice. So we don't have to worry about glass breaking it when you go off road. Above that, we have our stereo controls. These two red lights are for your water pumps. And we've got this switch here, but I often get asked what that's for. That's actually for the outside speakers. So if you turn the, the stereo on here, the sound will be inside the van, but if you want to hear it outside, you just flip that switch. Now, if you only want the air sound outside and not inside, you can adjust that with the fader on the, on the stereo as well. We've set that up. Lots and lots of storage in our galley here. We've got three drawers here, all with soft clothes runners. We've got our pantry with high sides on, on the pantry. These, these guys have option to go with the full oven. So we've got a gas fan forced oven, a gas grill, and then three gas burners and one conventional uh, 240 element there as well. Have a look underneath here. We've got more storage and a little drawer. This one here though, this we've got a big drawer here, which is perfect for groceries or all sorts of bits and pieces. And we've got a rubbish bin underneath here. So this one's a double rubbish bin. So you can use one as a rubbish bin and maybe one for detergents and other um, things that you don't want that may spill if they fall over. It'd be perfect to conceal it in there. The fridge. Okay, so this fridge is a 12 volt compressor fridge. It's the Vedic 12 volt, 190 litre one. There is an option to go up to 218 litres. Uh, but this is probably big enough for most people, I would say. The only real difference between the two fridges is the, the bigger one gets an additional shelf. The freezer stays the same in both cases. This one's turned off at the moment, so we're not going to see any lights on, but it's all there. All right, we'll have a look in the ensuite. All right, so the ensuite, ensuite we've got this, being a 20 foot six, we've got the big of, of our two ensuites. So we've got a big bench here. This is full, full fiberglass molded with our drain at the back, which allows us to put some drawers underneath there as well. We've got a 3.2 top load washing machine, or 3.3 kilo um, washing machine. This does give you the ability to fit a front loader if you do want to. That's why we sort of set it up like this as well. But this, the top loader is far more popular than, than the front loader. These guys have option to go with a composting toilet. So that is the Nature's Head composting toilet. And we've put a hatch on the outside of the van there so you can take the whole unit out through that, that hatch rather than have to carry it through the van when you need to empty it. Big linen press here with four shelves, huge amount of storage. We've got our towel rails here with it lit up lit up as well. So we've got a light in there as well. And additional storage. Of course, our breaker switches and our hot water controls as well. We've got a window. These guys are option to have a fan hatch or a fantastic hatch above the toilet as well. That's not normally standard. We normally just do the window. But if you want that, that's not a problem at all. Of course, we've got the shower, which Michael's standing in at the moment, so he'll hop out there and take up some footage of the, the shower too. But that's a full fiberglass molded shower with a couple of shelves. The floor of the shower does slope towards the drain, so the, even the van's not perfectly level, it will still drain. And it just works really, really well. Okay, okay so that was the 2023 Phoenix in that beautiful taupe colour there. Like I said, we're here at the, we're here at the Caravan and Camping Show this coming week from the 6th to the 12th of June. I also have this awesome Phoenix X here, so that's the 2024 um, Phoenix X on display. Just these two vans, but they're both amazing vans. If you'd like to see them in person, please come down and see myself, Michael, and my father Roy will also be here as well. It's gonna be a great week. We're really looking forward to meeting lots of people, new faces and, and some old faces as well, and showing off our wonderful product. Have a great day.